Kit and Cats. So today we are back for another episode of the Wonder Woman Wake Up Call series. Yay! So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Happy to have you here. Leave a comment below and let me know if you're new. I would love to say hello. But um, if you're new to my channel, the Wonder Woman Wake Up Call series is basically a series dedicated to waking up your inner superhero. So the Wonder Woman mentality and the Wonder Woman manifesto is something that I talk about constantly on my various social medias. Um, and it was inspired by an interview that I did about two years ago where I was asked if I could give young girls one piece of advice, what would it be? And in that interview, I literally, I remember this verbatim. I said, um, become your own Wonder Woman. Don't rely on the energy of the outside world to fuel you. Find what makes you strong and what makes you awesome and run with it. So I wanted to create this series, uh, basically just some of my inner musing, some of the things that inspire me, some of the things that I go through. Uh, to try and help you wake up your Wonder Woman. Because we all have her inside of us. Or him, if you're a dude. If you're a dude, welcome to, like, you can still be a Wonder Woman, Superman, whatever you want to be. But we all have that inside of us. We just have to wake her up. Or him up. So, that is the Wonder Woman Wake Up Call series. I apologize on the delay for these episodes. Uh, just with LA and my finals week at school and, uh competing and then moving all within a month of each other. I did have to kind of put this on the back burner, um, mostly because obviously my time needed to be devoted in other arenas, especially with school. But also with this series, it does mean a lot to me because this is like, these are my core values and I don't want to just make a video for the heck of it. I want every single video to be genuine and inspired and something that I get fired up talking about. So I needed time to devote to that. And also, I was just preying on inspiration for an episode because I didn't feel, I didn't feel fired up about anything in particular. Like, and I would have really good thoughts like, oh, this would be a good thing for a video. But then transferring that thought to verbiage was hard, especially when I was super busy. But anyway, we're back. We're here. So Today, my inspiration actually came from, I was in the locker room at the gym and there was just a TV show playing on in the background and I don't know what TV show it was, but the guy on the show, I just kind of like paused because I heard him like start to say something and I was like, Emily, you need to listen to this. But it said, every time you put yourself out there and take a risk, you feel more alive, more connected to the world. So for those of you who don't know, I just picked up and moved my entire life. Um, I've been planning this move since January, but it is finally here. So basically a little bit of a backstory with that. Um, I, I'm not gonna go into detail, but I felt stuck where I was. Where I was was not conducive to my growth. Um, and an opportunity presented itself to me and I took it. Um, and I was extremely excited about this opportunity. I'm still extremely excited about this opportunity. Actually the multiple opportunities. Um, but kind of the inspiration for today's episode is Yes, I felt excited, but there's also been like this underlying twinge of fear involved. Um, if you guys have been around since Vlogmas, uh, you saw my I failed video. And if not, I'll link that below so you guys can go watch it. But I, I got this like creeping feeling, you know, my first attempt at being on my own that I referenced in the I failed video was my first semester of college when I was in a dorm. And I failed at that. Like I transferred back home because I didn't love where I was. Like. It just wasn't a good situation and that was the first time I'd ever tried being on my own so then this move which is even more like life altering than just being in a dorm I was super excited and again I'm still super excited but there was that like creeping little voice in my head that said well 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 is that gonna happen again are you gonna be miserable again are you gonna fail again what if you know these opportunities that you're trying to take advantage of don't work? What if they don't work? And so where this episode is going is those thoughts that were creeping in, those aren't Wonder Woman thoughts. No, 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 those are not Wonder Woman thoughts. Those are what I've decided to call villain thoughts. So the first step to embracing your inner superhero you have to identify the villains in your life and you have to cast them away. Um, your villains can be anything. They can be a relationship. They can be a job that you're in. They can be the school that you go to. They can be where you live. They can be something as small as, you know, like your morning routine, which your morning routine really isn't a small thing like because you do it every day. But it can be something that, you know, you wouldn't even think twice about, but it's completely villainous and toxic to your life. <laughs> but 
Your villains are essentially any presences or entities in your life that make you feel negative, that make you feel fearful, that make you feel stuck, that make you feel held back, that make you feel restricted, that make you feel anything less. I just spit on myself. See, this is me getting fired up, is spitting on myself. Just but it's anything that makes you feel less than superhero-like. Those are your villains. So in my personal case, um, I've rid myself of a few villains since the beginning of the new year. Um, you know, I've gotten rid of relationships that were not conducive to my spiritual, emotional, physical, mental growth. Um, I rid myself of a physical location that held me back from tapping into my full Wonder Woman potential. Like I said, I felt like I was stuck where I was before, that I wasn't growing, that I wasn't thriving, that yeah, I was content, but I wasn't really just going, like I didn't feel like I could truly just go for it there and create more opportunities for myself there. So I left that specific physical location and rid myself of that villain. Yes, it was hard leaving my family. Yes, it was hard leaving my dogs and I'm like getting teary eyed thinking about my family and my dogs. Yes, that was hard. But while those people and those things were not villains in my life, just being in that environment that I'd grown up in for all 20 years of my life, it just, I was sitting and spinning. Um, and then another another villain is that inner villain, you know, that one that was telling me like, oh, what if you fail again? <laughs> that inner villain trying to hold me back from using my superpowers and using my potential and embracing this new opportunity that I wanted to take, that was another villain. So if you wanna be your own Wonder Woman, you have to identify these villains in your life. Um, they're always going to come up. They will always be there. They will change over time. They're not just going to automatically, like, you can't just get rid of them once and they're gone forever. Um, that's not how it works. And they will change. Like, you will have different villains as you continue to grow. And especially as you are thriving, there will always be villains trying to bring you back down to that level of not being a superhero. But you're destined to be a superhero. That's what you're called to be. But there's going to always be something trying to bog you down. But if you can identify those things, then you can cast them out of your life in your heart and you can start to allow your Wonder Woman to flourish and bloom and thrive and fly and, and it's beautiful. Uh, so that's kind of like my, my feelings on this. You have to identify, like the, the wrap up of this video, you have to identify the villains in your life, whether that's a relationship, whether that's yourself, whether that's your job, whether that's where you live, and you have to get rid of them. So like I said, I want to include journal prompts with these videos. So today's prompt is a little bit longer. Um, so I, also I thought of this. If you're journaling with this series, one, it's your Wonder Woman workbook. I came up with that and I felt very clever. So your Wonder Woman workbook. If you ever want to tweet me pictures of your Wonder Woman workbook, you know, if you want to decorate your covers, if you want to just like share with me what's in your Wonder Woman workbook for that day, I would love to see it. Use the hashtag Wonder Woman wake up call, um, tag me, whatever, tweet me, all that jazz. But anyway, so today's journal prompt. So first step is I want you to take five to 10 minutes and just sit in stillness and in silence by yourself, no devices, so no phones, no pa no iPads, no laptops, no nothing, no distractions, and just hone in on what you want with your life. What does being Wonder Woman, your Wonder Woman, mean to you? Think about that, write that down, and then second part, identify the villains in your life that are holding you back from doing that. You know, so for some of you, this may come a lot easier than you think it will. I know for me, when I try to sit and think about my villains, when I just sit and I'm not writing, I'm like, oh, I don't really know. But then when I start writing, I'm like, oh, this is really obvious. Oh, this, so that's why writing is so important to me. But yeah, identify the villains that are holding you back from embodying your Wonder Woman. Identify them, write them down. You need to see it on paper or somewhere. Um, and then part three this is kind of like bonus points. Write it down on a different sheet of paper. Write your villains down on a separate sheet. Tear that out of your journal and do something with it. Like actually physically do something with it because action is a manifestation of thought. It's one thing to think and then translate it to paper, but then it's a whole nother thing to do something with it. So take your identified villains and this is, this is gonna sound zany, but I want you to do it. Take that list of your villains and what they are and then say this out loud. I, insert name, so I, Emily, 
love myself wholly and fully, and I choose to be my own Wonder Woman. These villains do not serve me, so I cast them out of my heart. Say that, and then do something with your list of villains. So you can, you can tear it, you can crumple it up and throw it in the trash can, you can burn it safely, safely. You can do whatever you feel is right to do with them that manifests you casting those villains out of your life. And even more bonus points, if you get your girlfriends in on this, or your man friends, or whoever, just your squad, your fellow superheroes in on this, you all do this exercise, and you all do this together. Like, if you, like, have a bonfire, make some s'mores while you're at it, and then throw all your villains in the fire and be like, yeah, I'm making s'mores with my villains, that's, that's glam. But, Get all your friends into it, you know, write every, like share this with them, write everything down and do it together because Wonder Women want to help their friends be Wonder Women too, or Supermen, or whatever. Like, it's not just a you thing, it's an us thing. It's an us thing. And we have to spread that to the people that we love and care about. But, yeah, so, that's where I'm at. I'm like out of breath. Woo! Okay, I'm out of breath. But okay, so that has been our Wonder Woman wake up call episode for today. I hope you guys love it. I hope it resonated with you. Also, we are approaching 30K subs on YouTube. Like, hello, that's 30,000 kitten cats in my glam fam. That's 30,000 Wonder Woman kitten cats that make up this glam fam. And that makes me just so happy and just like, Gosh, you guys, you guys are so cool. It's never about the number, it never ever is, but I truly am thankful for you guys for helping me to spread my message and for just joining me in my journey because while our journeys are separate and while like we're all different people, it just means it's, it's so cool to be able to share this with you guys. And again, thank you for helping me share my vision and share my Wonder Woman mentality and for just, oh, yeah, hugs. Hugs, yes, hug me right now, just do it. Pause the video and hug me, okay, thanks. Um, so yeah, we're almost at 30K, so when we do get to 30K, I will be doing a, just a giveaway as like a thank you, and yeah, but thank you anyway, even though we're not at 30K, like again, it's never about the number, y'all are great, and I love you. So, that has been our Wonder Woman, blah, 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 blah. that has been our Wonder Woman wake up call for today. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and again, if you want to show me your Wonder Woman workbook, or if you want to just share with me what's on your heart regarding the prompt today, use the hashtag Wonder Woman wake up call, tag me in pictures, tweet me, whatever, all of my social media handles will be here. And thank you guys so much. I love you. Have a wonderful day. All right. See you next one. Bye.